Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video, we will learn that how to download or export the data from LinkedIn and uh, creating a dashboard in Microsoft Power BI regarding your LinkedIn profile analytics. So I, I did not connect it, uh, a direct connection with API of LinkedIn within the Power BI, but I prefer in this a specific video for uh, basic to intermediate level dashboards for the Power BI I have exported the data from LinkedIn and then imported in Microsoft Power BI from different Excel files and I have created a dashboard so I will let you with each of the step that how I created uh, this specific dashboard which is the profile analytics of LinkedIn uh, within one hour and even less than one hour and and that's very easy because I have not used a uh, very complex DAX whatever is available is the default uh, built-in features you just have to click and getting the right visuals on your canvas so let's get start so how to get the first question arises that how to get the data from your LinkedIn profile so if you have LinkedIn and you already sign in uh, what you can do is to get the data on top right side you will find a small me button or, or a word me and a, a, a very small your profile picture so if you can see here on top right side it's written me and, and when you click on it so is a drop down menu will appear here this this menu and in this menu you will find uh, in the accounts category you will find option or the hyperlink that is called settings and privacy so click on settings and privacy and then you will redirect to a new page so now after a few seconds this page will open and on the right side you will find data privacy and within that you will find uh, how LinkedIn uses your data so click on it and then when, when you click on it so there is a second option which is called get a copy of your data so again click on it it will expand and here from this selections you have to select you have a choice either go with the first option click on first option that says download larger data archive including connections contacts account history and information we infer about your about you based on your profile and activity so if you go for the first option it will give you a lot of available uh, statistics uh, with respect to the LinkedIn features or if you want something in particular so you can just go for the second option and check mark if you want just connections information or the articles or the profiles and invitations and recommendations any anything you would like to have in your dashboard so I prefer to get all the data or related to my profile and uh, then I will click on re request archive and it says here that your download will be ready in about 24 hours but after 10 minutes uh, or when you click on request archive after 10 minutes either you will get an email or if you can refresh this page you will get that download button on, on this on this same page so let's do it I will click on request archive when you click on request archive it will ask you to uh, provide your password of this account so let me alright so now I have provided the password and it says that request is pending and it, it on the top it's also said download pending right so after 10 minutes do after doing these steps after 10 minutes either you will get an email or uh, after 10 minutes you can come back again to this page and refresh so you will get a download archive button here and then you can download so once you download the zip file which will be provided to you by the LinkedIn and you will unzip that so you will find a lot of Excel workbooks just like here so learning messages phone numbers position profile projects recommendation receive recommendations given uh, skills test scores and and uh, also some more tables like contacts connections company follows certification so there are so many files 
regarding to your LinkedIn activities and what you will do is you will open Microsoft Power BI and uh, in this example I have for my particular LinkedIn profile analytics dashboard I have imported around uh, six to seven different Excel workbooks uh, that were related to company follows, connections, contacts, invitations, learning, messages and recommendations. So you can import more if you want to have some more numbers for your uh, on your dashboard. So now let me explain you how this interface has been created. Uh, design is very important. You have to follow the visualization rules. Uh, that is uh, one of the rule is contrast, alignment, proximity, right? And the reputation of fonts, ideas, elements. So on top, uh, I have choose on top left side. I have choose to write the LinkedIn, and then I have used the this text box which says profile analytics, and I have wrote insights based on the private data. Then at present, what I am and what is my recognition? So I have wrote that I'm the CEO of Excel Basement Private Limited. I'm also the coach and Power BI consultant. I am the MCT Microsoft Certified Trainer, Data Analyst, and Office specialist and master's level certifications so I have wrote a, a very quick summary about me on top then how many connections are there in my profile so there are 19,520 and uh, in, in the connections table you will get a field which is called first name and uh, this first name has been uh, converted into a count so that you can convert this visual as a card and then it you can format the title and font sizes and color schemes according to the theme you which you want then company following so I'm currently following more than 600 companies uh, recent connection request now where this data comes from from the invitations table then uh, how many contacts I have so this comes from the contacts table as you can see on the right side and again I have chosen the first name and converted them into the count how many messages I have uh, how the contacts has been added through mobile Google uh, top 15 companies which I'm I have connections of so that is coming again from the connections and company uh, recommendation receive I have so far received six recommendations which is coming from again the recommendations table right then this is something interesting month wise new connections in 2020 I have just plot 2020 uh, connections month wise and uh, the second line chart represent the last 10 years connections uh, I have made on the LinkedIn and if you can see that from 2016 till yet I have made a lot of connections so the for, for last four to five years I have been very active on the LinkedIn right so it's telling a story to us as well so definitely your dashboards uh, should be present visually uh, following the rules of designing and also data story uh, so that you can make further strategies that how you would go with your LinkedIn profile in the next coming years and how uh, what kind of industries or the profile connections you would like to connect with so it's it's very easy uh, within one hour you can uh, start uh, going to your profile downloading downloading the data and getting all the data into this power bi so i have not used any kind of very complex decks so far just to give you a demonstration that any business user can come up with this kind of very good design within within one hour or even less than one hour and try to create these kind of dashboards so that you can do practice on a real-time basis on your real real time data like this uh, dashboard and uh, anyone who is currently using Microsoft Power BI can get hands on to this kind of uh, dashboard within within one hour uh, with, with a lots of uh, brainstorming because the first thing is that to have uh, the data the, the clean data and uh, the second thing is that how you would get all the numbers or the visuals correctly from different tables and dragging and dropping it onto the, this canvas and, and think of a good design basically. So thinking of a design takes time rather than just uh, clicking on the formatting options and doing uh, formatting for that particular visual. So this is a quick summary of how I created profile analytics and in next coming videos I will come up with uh, how LinkedIn can be connected to the Power BI as an API 
uh, and and more than that i am also working on facebook analytics and youtube analytics as well so in the next coming days i will also show you a quick summary of that and and i would like to encourage that instead of long videos uh, uh, these short videos can uh, motivate you to do some hands on practice uh, on your real time profile analytics data thank you